The 2000 game was played on a Friday night, the day after Thanksgiving, and it was cold. And neither team had had a very good season. They weren't headed to bowl games. But what was significant was that this would be the last game for BYU coach Lavelle Edwards after 29 seasons on the job. And BYU led 26 to 10 at one point, only to have the youth storm back and score 17 straight points and put themselves in a position to finish off a victory that would have spoiled the ending for Lavelle. To this day, Ron McBride, the former youth coach, will tell you that Luke Staley fumbled the ball on third down inside BYU's 20-yard line, and, and the youth should have been granted a recovery, basically ending the game. Keep in mind, this is pre-replay. It's one of those plays that might have been overturned if replay existed at that time. But it didn't, and the Cougars got another chance, fourth and 13 at their 17-yard line, needing a first down to keep this desperate drive alive. That was a really big game for us because the, the game prior to that, Coach Edwards played his last game or coached his last game in Lavelle Edwards Stadium, which was then the Cougar Stadium. We just renamed it Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We only had five wins and six losses. He hadn't had a losing season in 28 years. And so we were going into this game knowing we had to get to six and six for him. He had to finish on at least a six and six season so it wasn't a losing season. And it was certainly important to us. On fourth and 13, Brandon Dolman, BYU senior quarterback, took the snap in the shotgun and retreated inside the 10 yard line, almost back to the five, and then started moving toward his left. Now, seven years later, Dolman would be the BYU quarterback coach, and a similar play, almost a mirror image on the other side of the field in Provo, also headed south, would unfold when Max Hall threw a desperate pass to Austin Colley that gave BYU a chance to salvage a win. Hall was moving toward his right, which is an easier throw for a right-handed quarterback. Dolman, going toward his left, had a much more difficult throw, had to set his feet and gather himself and throw it almost as far as he could to Jonathan Pittman, who was open around the 50-yard line. BYU managed to convert the fourth and 13 play, drove all the way down, just needed a field goal, but they scored a touchdown anyway, and Doman even added a two-point conversion, which made it a seven-point final margin for Lavelle Edwards in his last game versus his close friend Ron McBride in the Utes. They had a, a middle linebacker, I think he was number 43, Kautai Oliveo. Oliveo, I think is how you say it. Anyways, he was clapping his hands like the game was over. And he was cheering with his fans and he was doing this and clapping and I thought, this game's not over. And it was kind of cool when I walked into the huddle, I was getting ready to say something. Our center, he took over and he said, guys, this isn't over. We're going to complete this. You know, we're going to complete this first down. We're going to go win this game. Um, and sure enough, we threw that ball up, and it, and it happened. But I'll never forget that feeling of man. They think this game's over. We still got another down. It's not over. Well, we had just run the play, the same exact play, pretty much. I think two plays earlier. And Jonathan, this time, as he as he was settling out there on the sideline, it was kind of a hell mary. But there was a little dead space in the middle of the field, kind of on the hash marks. And rather than throwing it into everybody, I threw it to the dead spot. And he, kind of like a punt return, he just fell into that little spot and made, made a spectacular play. I think playing for Coach Edwards, his last two games were my first two starts. Uh, and that University of Utah game coming out that way certainly had to have been my, my biggest highlight of my, my entire football career.